Good evening, guys. Let's get into the news. This just happened uh, this past Wednesday. Speaker Mike Johnson doubles down. No deal on border. Um, and here were his words and his response. I'm going to play it. We're not playing politics with this. We're demanding real transformative policy change because that's what the American people need and deserve and that they're demanding as well. House Republicans are standing on that line. I will tell the president that today. I've been saying it consistently since the moment I was handed this is gavel, it, and that's never changed. Nothing, sir? I, I don't care what you call it. I'm telling you that these elements are important in order to make the change that is necessary. No one should be playing politics with this. There's too much at stake. Fentanyl is the leading cause of death for Americans age 18 to 49. Trafficking is a scourge. The, 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 uh, the cartels on the border down there are making billions of dollars trafficking humans into the U.S. 60 to 70 percent of the people that cross at the Eagle Pass, which is the, the, the main funnel right now, are single adult males between the ages of 18 and 40. These are not huddled masses of families seeking refuge and asylum. These are people who come in here probably with ill design. Wow. So he's basically saying these are young, militant-aged, young, fighting-ready men, like we've all known. These are not women, children, and families. Um, and basically what happened is Johnson rejected a deal to fund Biden's continued border operations coupled with tens of billions in foreign aid on Wednesday. This kind of ties into what happened in December when they were trying to get the continuation bill done. Prior to that, they wanted a $1.7 trillion spending bill passed. And, you know, it was to send foreign aid over to Ukraine again. But then this time they came this Wednesday, Chuck Schumer and Lankford with a border deal, which, by the way, we already have H.R.2 Secure the Border Act that passed the House in uh, 2023, I believe May. Uh, why wouldn't we just bipartisanly come together and do that bill and amend certain things in it? It's got no foreign aid in it. But this is the bill Schumer tried to propose. And these are just some you know key things in it. Increase green cards by 50000 a year. Work permits for adult children of H-1B holders. Immediate work permits to every illegal released from custody. Taxpayer-funded lawyers to certain UACs and mentally incompetent aliens. 5,000 migrants per day allowed into U.S. Restricts parole for those who enter without authorization between ports of entry. Uh... Fox called it the bipartisan sellout of America. Johnson basically, you know, put his foot down and said, absolutely not. You heard him in that video. We're not playing politics at this. OK, we are demanding real transformative policy change because that's what we, the American people, need and deserve. And we're demanding it. We are. We want these issues fixed. We don't want any more money going over to other countries. OK, and this is just a photo of uh 300,000 migrants at new record in December. But here's a photo of uh, Eagle Pass right here. Look at this. Look at all this trash all over the place. I mean, this is just crazy. What is going on here? And, and, and this is why Johnson is actually advocating for H.R.2. Okay? That would reinstate many of Trump's policies that Biden ended uh, you know, leading to unprecedented migrant crisis that's going on right now. And then not only that, what do they do? They call Johnson to come to the White House to do a meeting. And Josh Hawley said it's basically to force Johnson to cave and support billions in Ukraine funding in a border deal no one has seen. And uh, it's a matter of the highest national urgency, Schumer says, of the supplemental of head of Biden meeting with big foreign committee chairs. Yeah, we know this, guys. This is nothing new. This guy right here, well, you know what I don't understand is back in uh, when Trump was in office, you remember when Tr Trump needed the nine holdouts from this guy and the government shut down for 33 days because of Pelosi and Schumer and Trump was fighting tooth and nail with his own party? And it went viral all over the internet. And Trump took the heat for the government shutting down to get border security done. And then now all of a sudden, you know, they're working hand and foot with Biden to get the wall done and, and whatever else they need. But when Trump was in there, we didn't want to do it. So what's that tell you? Just think about it. Anyways, I thought you guys would find this interesting. And uh, Justin here and I'm out. And y'all have a beautiful night. God bless.